Prabha Gallori was very close to childbirth. She needed surgery immediately because her case was too complicated for the area's traditional midwives to handle. From her home in Kotagoda, a hamlet in the forests of Odisha's Malkangiri district, her only route to the hospital was either by boat, which wasn't plying at that time of day, or a 40-kilometer bike journey over bumpy roads across a jagged hill. More than 200 kilometers away, in Chhattisgarh's Narayanpur district, Kamla was waiting outside a well-equipped primary health care center, or PHC, for an abortion. She decided she didn't want to have her fourth child. But alarmingly, this was her first time in a clinic. Her previous three children had been birthed by local midwives and her only contact with the public health system had been via frontline health workers. Kamla's fate mirrors Prabha's because the lack of transport and connectivity means women in this predominantly tribal area must rely on unqualified medical practitioners for emergencies. Days before meeting her at the PHC, Kamla had taken pills prescribed by an unqualified practitioner, which led her to bleed profusely for days. Ironically, however, Kamla's fate is arguably better than many others because she was able to at least exercise her choice to terminate a pregnancy. The same is not true for 19-year-old beauty, who we meet in Bihar's Chatur Bujstan, a Muzaffarpur brothel that's been around since the Mughal times. She spent the last five years as a sex worker and is now three months pregnant by a client with her second child. She wants to abort the fetus because looking after one child is tough enough. But she can't. I'm continuing with this pregnancy only because of my mother, she says. I had asked her to let me abort, but she said abortion is a sin and not practiced in our religion. So instead, beauty learns to play the harmonium because Ami says the music will have a good effect on my baby. The lack of women's agency is far from alien in India. We travel all the way to Gujarat, to Dholka, Ahmedabad, where Hira Barwad says, I have nine girls, and then this, the tenth one, the tenth one's a boy. For women of the Barwad pastoralist community, family planning, contraception choices, and reproductive rights, they're all mere words. Multiple and consecutive pregnancies are common in this community. In our village, there was once a woman who had one son after 13 miscarriages, says Hiraben. It's madness. People here let as many pregnancies happen as are needed, until they get a boy. However, there are pockets of hope. One decade ago, Bihar's Hasanpur village mostly ignored family planning. Now, women often approach healthcare workers like Sala and Shama for an injectable contraceptive. Hasanpur's women trust them when they're told to keep their family small. They come to me sometimes with their health problems and complaints, and I advise them on birth control. The smaller a family, the happier they'll be. These are stories from an ongoing series across India that covers the wide arc of women's reproductive health issues, including inadequate rural healthcare systems that are out of reach for many unqualified medical practitioners and dangerous childbirths, discrimination, the preference for sons and more. They speak of health-related prejudices and practices, but also the everyday struggles and occasional small victories of women in rural India. You can read the entire series by Pari in collaboration with the Population Foundation of India on our website www.ruralindiaonline.org.